All right, folks, welcome to another draft. I already played my first draft where I rare drafted Yavi Maya. <laughs> Strongly recommend you check that one out. I uh, played some really sick matches. Uh, it looks like the format is pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be trying the second draft here. Let's see what this card does. When it's the battlefield, a friend of the control dies, look at the top seven cards of your library. You may reveal a walker from among them and put it in your hand, put the rest in the of your library in random order. So I guess that this in draft, this is just like a four mana three five. You probably do better than that. Um, this enables the madness deck. Um, I I've been I've been really liking the the um, affinity decks. Usually they're just sky based. Uh, what does this do? Target creature. Okay. I think I'm gonna go with the. I'm gonna be boring, and I'm just gonna top deck the good removal. Take it from there. Uh, this card looked really impressive when I played against it. Um, we can try to go for affinity. Just try to force affinity just for funsies. Three mana, two one. When it attacks, you can draw three more tokens. It gets plus two plus one first strike. Interesting. Um, this is just a fun removal spell, particularly in the Madness deck. I'm not sure how good the Madness deck is. This is a fine enabler though for the Madness deck, I guess. <clears throat> I guess it's Madness slash Delirium. All of these are artifact lands, which mean makes uh, the, the, the entire affinity thing happen a little bit better. I think I'm gonna go with this thing. Um, Again, it's really early into the format, so let, let's see if Affinity works. Let's see if I can make Affinity works. So, uh, Affinity works, sorry. But this card was really impressive. <laughs> I tried this card and it looked really good when I had it uh, when I had it in the previous draft. <clears throat> so this just puts counters on your stuff. Um. Target you can draw five up to one target you don't control. I could just go with this guy and try to go for some but some of those synergies. I'm obviously not married to these, and I already had a good experience with this card, so maybe I can try that again. Um This is a four mana three four, and then you discard a card on your upkeep and it can ping stuff. Because it basically pings and lets you discard like an artifact creature or something. Um, this guy has also been good for what I've seen. Let's go with the Herd Bailoth. Mm, more dudes. Um, it's a dual, four mana for a 4 3 reach, delirium. When it attacks is for one damage to each creature that play control. When it attacks, meh. <clears throat> Ooh, this works with okay, so we can have some we can have some plus one plus one counter synergies going here with this guy. This proliferates. And then we can put counters. Okay, so I guess this is kind of what I'm interested in doing here. Uh, that's probably a sideboard card. Seven mana, create a four four, and it has storm. It's an instant, though. That's the big. That's the big thing about this card. Um, sure. Let's go with this thing. Still not sure how we're going to enable those synergies, but gotta start somewhere, don't you? Um, two mana. Okay. We're talking about the <laughs> having some 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 counter synergies. This is kind of that. So take a creature card from your graveyard. You create X one one birds or X is exile card toughness. Okay, let's go for this one. Uh, this is uh, hopefully what we're trying to wheel. But this looks good. All right. Foundation Breaker, Mishra's Factory, 
this thing gets back a permanent card with mana value 3. What does this do? When it's developed, you create two food tokens and you have basic land cycling. Um, it looks like we're not going to be doing this, but we may still splash red for removal if we need it. <clears throat> I think Foundation Breaker may just be a good card in this format. This is the other card that I'm thinking of. Let's go with the Foundation Breaker. This card's bad. Four mana, Vigilance, Flash Vigilance, Devoured Artifact. Probably not what I want to do. Two mana. For a 2-1, you exile it from your graveyard. You create a 1-1 one -one Thopter. Not great. So I guess I'm just taking the duel here. Might make splashing easier. So I don't really think I'm playing any of the other cards. Maybe I'm playing this card, but it seems just so underpowered. That I'm just gonna hedge by taking a duel. Um, 2 one, one pro artifacts. This card seems good though. I guess if you can enable Delirium, so never mind. You probably are gonna struggle. Um, that's not bad. This is bad. Four mana, two, three. Whenever another creature you control dies, you put it on the counter on this guy. Seems a little bit underpowered. We could go for Prophetic Titan. Kind of like as a. But I guess I'm just gonna go with this thing. Just a fine sideboard card for artifacts. <laughs> this thing just went the whole, the whole way around. Um, we will this. Or we wield the Golden Anarchomancer. Hmm. I just realized you would have some target creature. Go with this, I guess. Reinforce one. Huh. This may be just fine as a combat trick, I guess. I mean, it's obviously underpowered, but this may be just a fine cyber card. Maybe over the Lightning Spear. I'm not sure how much red I'm gonna be, so I think I wanna establish myself as green-white. And this is like, this is a gift from above. This is exactly what we want. Like, this is just so good for us, amazing. Um, well, I guess our red splash is, is made fairly easy now. Seems better than the hunting pack. We also wield the proliferate thing. That's awesome. This is six mana to get both effects. And pff, yeah, that's all. That's sick. Um... I'm gonna go I'm gonna go for the duel. Okay, so we are very like we're green white and we I guess we're splashing red a little bit, like and, and the red splash is fairly easy for us to achieve. So we're still not locked in on this. But we have a pretty nice we have a pretty nice road ahead of us. Like we are we're very well set up for that. So this is, this is nice, this is nice, nice solid start. Is this, is this fine? Okay, there we go. Priest of the Fell Rites, this is the reanimator card. Probably don't need another one of these. Three mana for a three through vigilance, six mana you draw a card, this ability costs one less to, to activate for each person from gun or creatures you control. This guy seems something I'm interested in. I'm probably not going to splash this thing. I'm going to be watching out for this thing because we can put, we can get our, our synergies going, but I think that this, this card is going to be strong. 
this card is going to be strong for us. Pretty comfortably Naya. Our colors work fine, it looks like. Kind of feels like the person to my to my right, I guess, is just taking their time. And that's why we're running the clock, kind of. Okay, so another one of these. Um, none of these cards seem busted for me, right? Converge, create a bunch of thopters. If this were single blue, maybe I would pick this. If this were single blue, then maybe I would pick this and we can try to pivot a little bit towards domain. I don't think we're gonna have the, the affinity thing going on. So this doesn't work. Set to pick mostly because it's a pretty lame pack for us. I guess I'm taking Lightning Sphere. Seems really bad, honestly. Um, this is awesome, though. I'm really into this card too for our deck, but like this is much much better for us. Uh, Three adapt this creature. Put it on the card. When it, when it, when it, it gains double strike until end of turn. Yeah, yeah, that's not very good. Um, yeah, it's really, really crappy that <laughs> that both of these cards show up showed up in the same pack. I'm more likely to wield this than this, so I'm gonna pick the removal spell. Uh, but yeah, so we're hoping to wield this, this, or these. I would think we would we would play either one of these. But yeah, really unfortunate that we had two awful packs, and then we have one pack where we we see three cards that we would be super happy with. Everybody, Elder. This also makes my splashes trivial, basically. Uh, it's also a nice little card advantage. Uh, it allows me to, it, it just makes my unbound potentials just so much better because I'm just almost, almost always going to be able to entwine. Yeah, seems great. Elder seems awesome. Maybe learn late to dinner or final web recluse. This guy seems just kind of bad. Yeah, seems pretty bad. Uh, Elder's great though. Um, let's see this. So that's seven mana. When it's the battlefield, you create two birds and then you can invoke it for four. Mark Grave is interesting though. Let's do a little, a quick search. Quick search. Unmarked Grave. $1.50. Is one dollar and fifty better than this thing? This thing is pretty good for us to be to be fair. I'm gonna take dollar. <laughs> Let's take the dollar. Um, seems fine. Do not great. Like it's fine. Like, I'll probably play two copies of this. Um, anything that I may be interested in? Not really, like the rest of this pack kind of sucks. I have no idea how viable this, uh, this green-white token uh, counters strategy, I have no idea how viable it actually is. We do have a lot of counters though. When we do draw our herd battle, 
for Baylor. It's probably going to be really good because we have many ways of putting counters, but our deck is not insanely powerful. <laughs> that's big. That's that's great actually. And again, like we have all of these packs that are just embarrassing, and then like we see one pack where we have two great cards for us. I have to imagine that Capture by Lagax is is better for us than Smell Fear. There's just there's just no way that, that isn't the case. We kind of need a little bit more of a payoff. There is a white payoff for the the synergies. Um, another foundation breaker. Like I'm, I'm probably okay playing the first one. I'm not sure if I want to play the second one. I, I'm not familiar enough with the format to to know whether this is a main deck foundation breaker kind of format just yet. It very much could be. It very very much could be. And I mean, worst case this scenario, we just like run it and then just cut it but like they're just we just have so much artifact enchantment hate it's funny um not excited about this but like i guess for signaling i don't even know i mean i'm not gonna play any of the other cards anyway so so in this next pack i think is where this card should be so let's see if we can if we can manage to wheel it. There were three good cards that we wanted to wheel from that pack. And we will none of them. Man. Brutal. Without these we have graveyard hate, I guess. <laughs> I guess we have like a graveyard hate cyber card if we're playing against a reanimator deck or whatever. Oh man. Brutal. Like I may have to play with this if uh, sure. So the play pattern here is you know your opponent does something and then on end step you just you just hunting pack and you get a couple of four fours, but like I'm not not excited about this card. It seems really hard to leverage. That's pretty good though. That is pretty pretty good. And then there's the unpronounceable card but a second hair payload is just exactly what we want like this card is no joke this card is no joke um, in the, my previous draft I had one of these and I managed to combo it with the the 4-3 artifact that has echo and you can sacrifice an, an artifact to put it on a on on your creature uh, it was it was strong it was strong um, I think this card is money, but this is this is good enough, and it's it's likely it, it's pretty unlikely for me to wield these. So, just gonna take this, be happy about it. This is what I comboed with the other one. Four mana echo, sacrifice an artifact, plus one plus one counter on target creature. I think Rift Sower is probably too good though. We also have this guy. Three mana discarded card is two damage to a creature player or planeswalker. Also update late to dinner. Well, all of these are just great options. Mm. This is close. We don't really have that many artifacts. No, we don't really have that many artifacts. So I think I'm gonna go with Rift Sower. This one is more likely for uh, that we can wheel it. Uh, Brainstone, Power Depot. Probably gonna take the Orb or card, or card, or chard, Strider. This seems actually, this seems actively good. 
as opposed to the white one, which seems super lackluster. Um, buff for squirrels, cute. Probably not what we're doing. Kind of feel like I, I'm taking smell fear here. Just take the removal spell. And it, it's nice that it pro proliferates before getting the effect. So that's pretty pretty good. Uh, looking to wield this or this. I guess maybe the Squirrel Sovereign just for curb purposes. Just as a 2 mana 2-2. Two, because two, we don't really have any other squirrels. But Smell Fear is probably good enough. It's probably the best card, the best card in that pack. Um... Unsure whether this is worth whether this is worth splashing for. Two mana, chant creature gets plus, plus, plus one plus one as in fast flying. I think I I'm I'm okay with this. Wave Sifter is really really good, but I don't think I have the. We have one duel. And we also have uh, yeah, my elder, but this seems just better for our deck at least. Alrighty, the extruder found its way. None of the other cards really do anything. Honestly, we I may not even splash red. Like we're splashing red for mind collapse, but like we have a bunch of removal spells at this point, so. It's mostly a matter that the, the red splash is, is free, almost. We can probably spra splash off a single mountain. Discard the card, then draw two. This three damage to each creature without flying. That's a second one of these, or a second one of these. This card seems like it could be pretty good for us. And then we can cut this and cut this for straight up green white. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for the Kirin. Immediately punished by another four drop. <laughs> Damn it. Immediately punished by another four drop. Now I really wish I had the combat trick. And and another caring cut. Damn it. At least I can get rid of these bad cards, you know. Um Cycle Decret card from your graveyard, create X. Silent Card's Toughness. Is that a combo? So I have some evoke. Okay, well, let's go with that, I guess. So we can evoke this and then we can like scour the desert. I don't know. I'm not really sold on it. Maybe this card is, is bad. I mean I, I do get to like flyers are kind of great in my deck because I have so many ways of putting counters on them. Um Splash black for this. Smell fear is great. Awesome. Sideboard card. Okay, I mean, we have a couple of kind of mediocre cards. The extruder is kind of not doing it for me. I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna play this lands mostly because I can play them for free. 
but I'm not particularly excited about them. So, I don't know, it's kind of in a weird spot. Um, now we can go to deck building, we can move things around, it's going to be more comfortable. I don't think this deck is bad though. I'm honestly I'm surprised that we didn't wheel this thing. Like it seems really bad outside of exactly my deck. So let's group creatures separately. Yeah, really wish I had access to another one of these now. So I'll probably get rid of this. Just playing those just because I have extruder. I wonder if I should just play 16 lands here. We probably want 17 though. We have a bunch of four drops. I'm really not digging this card. We also did not wheel the Deep Wood Denison. I don't remember what I picked over that, but I was expecting that we would wheel that. You can get back one of these or Denison for card advantage. Seems fine to me. Yeah, I don't think it's worth splashing for this guy. Yeah. Yeah, I think I like it nice and clean like this. Um, so we can do 10 and 7. 10 and 7 seems good to me. I guess we have a lot more double greens than single whites. So maybe we want to do 11, 6. Now nah, 10 and 7 needs to be right. Mm, is it right though? Yeah, I think I actually want. I think I want 11, 11, 6. All right, let's see if the green-white counters archetype works. If you're enjoying the content, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you for round number one. Here we go. Welcome to round number one of our green-white tokens. Draft. So why don't we suspend search for tomorrow? This dice create X tap one one squill tokens where X is its power. Interesting. So I guess we can buff itself here. It's pretty sweet. So we cast the guy. We play a land. <laughs> Yikes. And then this can outlast. So you just immediately take, turn it onto a 2 4.
I don't like that opponent has a free, free enabler. Free enabler starts. Oh, come on. I think we're winning this race. So there's at least that. But really? Like all just all stupid swamps? All stupid forests? Most of these things has reach. <laughs> it's such a random keyword for this to have. I guess it's an archer, so sure. Maybe I'm overdoing it a little bit with the. Maybe I'm, over, I'm overdoing it a little bit with the whole. Too many forest <laughs> kind of deal. Okay, so. That's really good. That's really, really good. Wow. Super strong. Super, super strong. High four is good, but if my opponent has another one of those things. I think I have to raise here, put my opponent on the... Oh, it has Vigilance! That's great! I didn't know that this Dino had Vigilance. It's cool. All right. All right. <clears throat> Bro. Wait. Oh, indestructible. That's really funny. That is devastating, man. Uh, that is devastating. <clears throat> that is absolutely devastating. We're just flooding ridiculously. Is there anything that we can do? The good thing is the opponent doesn't have attacks. Oh, come on. Really? That really sucks, man. <laughs> I feel like if we had drawn any spell, like literally any spell, we would have won this game fairly easily. So four, seven, or we're just dead. We're just dead. There's nothing we can do. They just right click attack all. And we're just dead. Yeah, I just figured it out. Okay. Well, I'm gonna block the one that does something. Three we go. What can we well we can draw a removal spell for this? And can we return? Okay, so we can draw a removal spell for this. Two food tokens. Is that enough? No, it's not enough, because we can only crack one of them. It's 
So they didn't attack last turn, so I'm, I'd rather leave my guy to block in case my opponent makes the same play again. <laughs> well. That was something. That was something. Um, do we have an exile? Because this guy doesn't do anything for what I've seen. Hmm. Yeah, so let's just, you know, draw better, I guess. Sure. Okay, opener. I'm like super excited about it. I guess that this is a combo with the other guy. Um, I think I'm going to. This is a combo with the with this. I think I'm going to fetch for another place. Looks okay. So you can sack this guy to explore. It's pretty cool. can have a really really good turn next turn let's see what is this three mana two three pay one life draw a card activate on a few of this card this turn okay it's not very good um i can have a really strong turn this turn So, capture my leg axe, go to counter there and there, then smell fear. If they have the removal spell that they sack a mountain. I guess if that's the case, then we just we probably just die. So, um, I think I want to kill the enabler. Alternatively, I could kill this thing, but I think the enabler is better.
And next turn we can we can do this thing. And we can tap two to draw, which is pretty good. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna kill one of my dudes. Okay. Sure. They win the Torax Canticle. Maybe we should have killed this thing actually. That beats down, holy crap. <laughs> I forgot to put a mountain into my deck. I just realized I forgot to put a mountain in my deck. I feel like an idiot right about now. Feel like a big, big idiot right about now. <laughs> sure. So I have a couple of options here. I can draw a card. Or I can force my opponent to sacrifice two creatures. I'm gonna draw. Oh, they just drew, they found three mountains off the top. Wow. Well, put one plus one plus one counter, so we can trade this for this, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So now they're gonna sack the I need to sack the guy. I can't believe that I'm such a stupid. Still stupid man. Okay. <laughs> We got a little bit saved by the bell there. We definitely need to add a... Definitely need to add a, a mountain to my deck. All right, Guardian Kirin. Let's go. Let's go, Guardian Kirin. Discard a card, gain Slaveling at the end of turn. Threshold gets plus one, plus two. So it's a three, three. <clears throat>
Okay, so I probably need to let them. Uh, I actually am not gonna let them end up with that because if they have something better, then we're, I'm just dead. Like if they have Caldra or something, I'm just dead. So I might as well not let them get some madness value, right? All right. Please don't kill my dude. Please don't kill me. Sure. Okay. Can we draw something, please? That certainly counts as something. So we're going to pass here because this is a nice little chump blocker. Don't don't have drawn the Kadra. Flying haste. So they can't attack. If they attack, they lose. They attack, they lose. But this has trample, so if I get to put a counter on my Bailoth, I can win. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Um, so I guess this is just a stalemate. Yeah, because I can't attack. Because if I bounce this and I put it here, then my opponent chumps and I lose. So we just have to we just have to chill here. Sure. Stalemate continues. Something please. Stalemate continues. What happens if I just attack? If I just attack, my opponent double blocks. It's not a good deal for me. The problem is that I know that my opponent has some really strong cards that they're drawing towards. Oh, wow. Okay, so. So, they put a counter there. They get a 4 4. Now we bounce this. Put this there. And these tramples. Wow, <laughs> such a close game. Oh man, I almost threw that so badly. Why am I flooding so much? I don't like the flood. Maybe this guy is better than it seems at first sight. First copy seems fine. Now I don't think I want to be results oriented, and maybe I guess we're on the draw, so maybe I should cut a land on the draw. Just have more business instead. Mm. 
Well, I should have shipped this. Yep, I should have shipped this. Can we draw Yabi Maya Elder? That would be sick, please. Yeah, we're just we're just super dead here. Super super dead. This guy's not gonna show up in time and probably when it shows up, it's gonna just die. Alright, we need one we need more white sources. We need more white sources. I do have my basic land cycling guy. I do have my Oh, basic mountain please. Mountain off the top one. Oh, yeah. Mountain off the top one time? Oh, come on. Really? Not meant to be. Guess I should have shipped the hand. <laughs> My opponent missing land drops too. Sadness goes on the stack. <laughs> Sadness goes on the stack. I guess I can, I mean, I can still top like a basic mountain, I guess. I could still top like a basic mountain. Or not. Okay. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. Yeah, that would have helped. That would have helped. Anyway, see you for the next round. Learn my lesson. Switched the forest for planes. Still can't catch a break. I'm gonna keep this hand though. At least all of our, the cards that we have in our hand are, you know, green. <laughs> Well, I mean, hopefully, if we're affinity, we do get a nice little two for one here. They are affinity. Okay. Three mana. I think I'm okay with this trade. Effectively trading this for this. I were taking three points, but the three points seem kind of fine to me. The issue is that next turn, I, I guess that we're, we're, we're having the same trade happen next turn. It's kind of the same. This seems like a sacrifice thingy. I mean, I guess people are just playing it as a bad removal spell. Sure. Mm. Hello. You can only outlast a sorcery, I think, which is such an annoying piece of text.
Um, okay. I was thinking it's like the combat trick. The combat trick is white. The one that gives the creature plus two plus two. So with them tapping the white there, and now we can foundation breaker that thing. Seems not bad. Seems not bad. In fact, in fact, we can. Play this thing. We get a counter. Kill the dude. Mother counters disappear. Evoke. Trigger get a plus one plus one counter. this thing oh cards without it plus one plus one counter ah I guess reading the card explains the card doesn't it I guess reading the card explains the card They kind of have to kill this, because if I resolve this... Wait. Okay. So they're killing my Acolyte? Yeah, this... this is... this is going well. This is going pretty well for us. And my opponent hasn't even been captured by like axe yet. Didn't get to put up a sample sun counter, but I don't think that's that big of a deal. My opponent's not in good shape. So it costs me four. To draw. You could have the deal five damage to an attacking creature, Sonor's hand. If you've discarded a card this turn, draw a card. Okay, so. Thing that happens. I think that happens, and I'm just gonna play the the bail off, bail off plus land. And next turn we can um, we can play the guardian plus captured by Lagax. So this is just like a bottom ensemble in my opponent's deck. They don't seem to have that much of a. Of a um, discard thingy, discard theme. Five mana. to get captured. And I, I could actually draw a card instead of playing this thing. And then I can smell fear. Yeah, this this is kind of gross. 
gives Mel fear next turn. Swing for a large. Let me draw here because I can find a land. Clean. That's clean. Still have a 4 4 to block with. Yeah, this game's over. Honestly, my opponent does not, uh, my, my deck does not seem bad when it's doing, like, it, when it's drawing reasonably. It does not seem bad, it's just. Game one in the previous match, we just. <laughs> just never found anything. And then game three, we just never found our second color. But like th this guy is no joke. This guy is no joke, and we have a bunch of ways of putting, putting counters on it. I think I like what we got going on here. I think I like what we got going on. Foundation Breaker against the Affinity deck. Sign me up. Sign me up. Opponent keeps seven. This card is so weird, man. Just a weird card. More two for ones. Give me all of the two for ones, please. I guess I may need to use one of these. Like, I'm not gonna kill this guy, the Arcbound Mouser. Okay, that's a different story. Uh, that's really scary. Do I just have to kill that thing? I have to kill it. I think I have to kill it. Let's see if it sees itself. It does not see itself. Interesting to know. That's important. So it only does its thing when you have an when it's in play and you have another dude. Very, very important. That's fine. So I think I'm just gonna foundation breaker this thing now. The the counter is good. Oh man. Yeah, the problem is like if my opponent is my opponent just has another if they have an artifact creature, then we just have to deal with the counters. Like, it's just so much more awkward. So I'm just gonna blow that up. Yeah, we traded down on mana. That sucks, but... At least, we, yeah, exactly. Like, if I, if I had to deal with my opponent putting the counters on this thing, then we're just, you know, having to deal with that.
Harry Messer. Show off. I feel some clean fixing for them. It's a nice and clean fixing for them. Seem to be lacking a little bit on the nan. Okay, just trade it straight up. Defense mana issues. So we're gonna be taking at least two from this. At least four, sorry, because we're gonna be taking two now and then two more next turn because I can't do anything about it. Worst part is like, like I, I have to pay the echo cost, <laughs> which sucks. Echo four is so much. Now the, yeah, they have the deal five damage to attacking creature removal spell. It's just time walk. Oh, wow. I mean, I'll take that. Can I find the green source, please? Um, yeah, it sucks, but I have to do that. I'm gonna take way too much damage otherwise. Seems like my opponent is lacking on payoffs. They don't have like the new mirror enforcer, they don't have the seven mana dude. Spoke too soon. Spoke too soon. Can I find the green source? <laughs> oh, punished. Punished. I mean, technically, I can trade, I guess. Brutal, wow, took me nine turns. <laughs> Forgot that I have this that has pro artifacts. I think I'm just gonna do this. Static green. It's not a white. It's got this. Seal of Clemson. Anything else? Oh, this also blows up artifacts. Yeah, um, just have infinite vindicates. Hit that key button, but <laughs> gonna hit that key button, but oh. we got two draw steps to find the basic forest. Two draw steps. Last last game, we couldn't get there in nine. Statistically speaking, it should work, right? 
Statistically speaking, I should keep this hand, but the art in this forest is kind of cool. I like it. All right. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, it's happening. It's happening. It's totally happening. <sighs> Ultimate sadness. <laughs> Ultimate and never ending sadness. I got nothing else. All I have, all I have is sadness. Yes. All right, we got there. Now it's a matter of how greedy do I want to be? I feel like I want to be quite greedy. Take it. Use your mana to pump, please. Are you sure you want to use your mana in the strictly worst possible way? I, mean, I guess I'll take it, but get in there. Come on, old man. Come on, old man. No blocks, my friend. No blocks. All right. Um, We untap. I feel like I'm gonna. Feel, I'm gonna feel comfortable. Five mana. What are we doing for five mana? You wanna play the haste, dude? Play the haste, dude, please. Okay. Yes, that is acceptable. So we two plus one counters on each of up to two target creatures. Yes. Yes. Uh, this still damage to that. I'm not so important, and I'm not so interested in the damage. I'm obviously much more interested in, you know, two four fours for one card. Seems strong. Seems above average. It's unfortunate that we can't really attack. I think it's probably okay. It's, I mean, it's more so that there's just no need to attack, honestly. It seems hard for my opponent to beat this. <laughs> They're kind of lacking a removal. Sure. Three mana.
Yeah, that's, that's not the way to do it. I guess that they wanted to put a counter on their dude. So maybe it's okay. Forest, forest. <laughs> More forest. Alrighty. Let's capture that thing. Like to put a couple more counters on my creatures, please. Would like to get a couple more four fours, please. Thank you. Right click, attack all. Oh. Right click, attack all. Oh. There's no way they can kill me for from 14, right? There's just no way they can kill me for, from 14. This has to be game. F6. This is what I got. Two cards of the library, put one of them to your hand, the other one in your graveyard. If you put an artifact card to your, your hand this way, you gain three life. Um, the dude just dead on board though. Block, block, tick, <laughs> tick 24. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> All right. The the her that got him. Let's see for the last round. Final round. Let's see if we can get a couple of couple of packs. I think I'm gonna keep this. <clears throat> Honestly, a one four is kind of neat. We can turn into a 2-5 and we can fight. Doesn't suck. That doesn't suck to me. Sure. Seems like my opponent's gonna be the aggressor. And they could have like the removal spell and then they kill my Rift Sower and then they get in there for two and we're training two damage for one damage. That doesn't seem like a good deal for me. So I'd rather just pass with my blockers. Same deal. I think my opponent's going to yeah, play something in step. Gonna have to take some damages here. Hopefully, I tap out main face, which gives me freedom. If they tap out main face. Then I can hmm. the fight effect effect doesn't quite work. The fight effect doesn't quite work. The 
if I do bone, um, see, we throw the double block there. So we get to trade with the mongrel. Um, they could have the removal. Well, that didn't work out. Got a little bit of ones there. So this forces their removal spell if my opponent has it. It's a two for one, but like I'm, I'm just not gonna be able to cash in this this Melfear. Okay, it worked. It worked. Can you please leave something I can eat, to the opponent? <laughs> that would be awesome. Otherwise, I'm afraid I'm just gonna have to eventually play it as a just a stupid two two. So they go back there two one, I think. Discard a card this turn. They do have to pay life to draw, and they also have to discard the card, so I think that this is a fine trade. Yikes, my opponent hitting me with the, the hate. <laughs> they gain life equal to the number of counters. Gross. Gross. So they just cycle the Cabal Initiate there. Not bad, not bad. It's pretty nice actually. Get back or four three. Get a food for our troubles. Okay, I wish I mean they have no cards in hand. This is a draw engine, though. Please play something I can blow up with this. Gross. Things are not working out out here. <laughs> Things are really not working out out here. My opponent's got a very powerful draw engine and I have a tutu. They have infinite removal. Tragic fail. Flayessence. Tragic fall, this thing. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. It's flood o'clock. Mm 
use my mana here. Not really saving that food for anything. Command tap. Okay. 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 We're done here. We are done. They seem to have all, they have, everything is just hard removal. Just gonna bring that thing, I guess. It's not great, don't love it. All right, Elder, please take me home. You can do it. I love you. You love me. I've actually cast a lot of Yabi Maya Elders in my in my youth. It was one of my favorite cards. It was the first card that taught me the meaning of a card advantage. This card really was the first one. Where I was like, wait, it's a two mana, it's a three mana, two one. What do you mean that this is a good card? Well, well, kid, it's an instant. Ah, my sadness knows no end. Yep. Really sad. <laughs> you control if you're being casted. Super just from Gregory of this turn, activate only once each turn. I can't beat this card, right? Like, I just have to actually kill it with Smell Fear. Like, I cannot just, like, act it. Also, this doesn't even need to tap for the ability. Like, I, I can't beat this, I don't think. Not how things have been worked out here. Like, I, I need to draw a forest this turn. If I draw a forest this turn, maybe. Okay. So now we can play Elder. And we can maybe put something together. You have to be kidding me. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's gold. <laughs> Just, oh, that's delightful. That is absolutely delightful, man. That is delightful. That's really, really funny. How would that lined up? Um, there's the big guy. Just, yeah, this is just too much. So if they have a minus three, minus three, at least I can put a counter on it in response. Like it's not a good deal, but.
Like, this is just what I can do. I don't think that I can play around stuff anymore. I don't think that I can really play around stuff or pass that time. So, I think this fights that. And I want to get rid of both of my... I think I want to get rid of both of my fight. Oh, I guess I can't actually. Never mind. Never mind. Oh no, this is this only a 2 3 here. Yeah, never mind. I could have done that. Maybe I should have. Okay. Can we win this race? Can my opponent, can I dodge my opponent's removal for one more turn? Sure. Okay. All right, so I guess they flooded. Wow. I was really afraid of that dude just going the distance. Can't believe that they add the one exile spell for the Yavi Maya Elder. That was that was kind of sick actually. Um They have a bunch of the minus three, minus three. Maybe I want this card? have a lot of removal though. I think I'm keeping this. My chances of winning just go down so drastically. Okay. Please play fire. <laughs> please, please, please. That doesn't fly, damn it. Oh, we can we can combo kill that. That's hilarious, actually. <laughs> That is really funny. <laughs> that is really funny that we can combo kill the... We can combo kill any of my opponent's creatures. That's kind of awesome. That's kind of awesome. That's the beauty of limited, man. That's that's the beauty of limited. Skyblade is born your creature <laughs> and kill it. Opponent doesn't want to pass. And takes it. Okay. Play this thing. Sure. Sure. 
So I'm gonna go for Baloth first. If it dies, it dies, but next turn I can Dagger Tooth plus hold up the combat trick. They're probably gonna just single block, which means that I'm gonna to get to use my flourishing strike to trade with it. Which is kind of nice. They already used the exile removal, which is also pretty nice. Wow. Okay. So this is six and this is gonna be seven. So my opponent can discard both cards to save this guy. If I'm not mistaken. Four. Yeah. Okay. Okay. When it empties their hand to rescue their dude. Still. Seeing a little threshold for this thing. Too bad that we can't proliferate there, but that's fine. Brutal. I think we're going to trade or attempt to trade at least. Probably attempt to trade with this thing. We really need to draw something good though. Really got to draw something good. Something good. Here we go. 
Off the top, something good. Awesome. Good to go. Um, we got some good draws here. We got some real good draws. We can... If we find the 4-4, Bailoth, we're good to go. We find the anti leg -like act thing that buys us a reasonable amount of time, hopefully. So that buys us a little bit of time. They do have all of their synergies now, though. Something good. Pretty good, I gotta say. Can put a counter if we need. We can eat some food if my opponent uses a removal spell. Cast a creature from your grave this turn. Okay, so we need to find the removal spell right now. Or we're super dead. Removal spell right now. Let's undo it. This doesn't target even. This is disgusting. So they're just gonna get back their I just get the revolutionist back. Yeah, this is this is unbeatable. How is this a reasonable card? <laughs> How is that a reasonable card? Holy crap. So we swing for seven this turn. Opponent down to 14, 7, 8, so they, they give, they're going to give it haste. This is brutal. This is absolutely brutal. You just get back the mongrel. They're just gonna get back the revolutionist now. They found the land. Revolutionist comes back, brings a land, <laughs> brings a, a freaking uh, removal spell. Like this is just disgusting. This card is just not beatable. Absolute bomb. This is a lot better than I originally read it as being. How do we beat this? So I guess that the way we beat this is by drawing exactly the Bailoth right now. And because our only draw is the Bailoth on this turn, I'm not going to crack the food there uh, because th that represents another 4-4. Four, four. Okay, there it is. So that's a couple of 4-4s four, and now we can actually serve in the air. Because we can sack the land and we can sack the food. That's that's exactly the only way that we could have won this game. Literal only way we could have won this game is if we top deck exactly the bailoff on that specific turn. So put a counter there. Always yes, always yield. Put a counter there. Another four four. And I think I 
This is kind of, a, of an awkward one, right? Because... My opponent's creatures are just X3s. There, there are three Xs, sorry. So the 4-4 four, four seems slightly better than the 4-3. But at the same time, yeah, this is just better against a removal spell. So I'm just going to leave the Extruder. Okay, gain a couple of life. But we can offset it with inbound, dude. Four three haste. Scars beast. Absolute beast. Here's seven in the air. That's really awkward for my opponent to draw there. Yeah, they probably have to cast it. Okay, wait, do you have lethal? Cast a creature, they probably cast Mongrel? Sure. It has haste. But now we win. Don't have cards. So we just block and we just block. Zero cards. Three damage. I think this is good. And then we entwine. Counter, counter. Wow, what a game! I can't believe we, we beat that dude! That was amazing. Wow, I can't believe I played towards exactly top deck in the herd way lot. And we did, and then the extruder got me the it was wow, just <laughs> wow. So we won that match because of that. We won that match because of not cracking the food. And also because of uh, having these stupid lands in my deck only for this specific synergy. Man, it feels really good. This format is awesome. Uh, this is my second draft in so far, and um, I'm enjoying it a lot. That was that was a ton of fun. That was a ton of fun. I'm, 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 I'm loving this. Loving, loving, loving this. If you are loving this as well, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and let me know in the comments because I'm super into making limited content. So if that's something you would like to see, please let me know. See you in the next one and take care. Bye-bye.